All right, so here we have one of our sites, uh, My Celiac World, and uh, during a recent upgrade, WordPress upgrade, it blew up. Uh, well, specifically Jetpack jet blew up. And uh, the solution is, as usual, to go into your uh, FTP program and rename the Jetpack fo plugin folder so that it can't be found. Then you should be able to get the site back out. And as you can see here, that's exactly what I did. I went into my WP content folder, plugins, found Jetpack, renamed it to old, and life should be good, right? Well, not so much. It turns out that Jetpack just continues to be a pain. So when I go to the admin page, it blows up. And so you can read through it and it uh, makes it look like the problem is with uh, pluggable, uh, at least in a number of places here, the pluggable.php. It occurred to me that uh, I should probably pay more attention and I should read this portion of it, which is saying it failed to open it, no such file or directory. To pay attention to this portion right here, what you want to do is go to your FTP program, in my case, FileZilla, drill into your site, specifically into the content, and then plugins folder, manually create a folder called Jetpack. If you already have one there, if you haven't done this already, just rename it. So I'm just going to go to create a directory. I'm going to call it Jetpack, all lowercase. Very important to be lowercase. Here it is. Now, what you have to do is just copy the jetpack.php uh, into there. So let's go find that uh, from our download. Type jet. Like it, there it is. Now, all I have to do is drag this one file into this one folder in FileZilla so that this path now exists. Now, when I click refresh, It'll take a minute, especially if you've got caching, but boom, I'm in. Now we have a couple more steps to finish, but at least you're not blown up anymore. Okay, so now we're in, but the site's not quite happy. You've got to go reinstall Jetpack. So what you're going to have to do is go to uh, Plugins, Installed Plugins, select Deactivate. That'll unhook it from your site, delete it. In my case, I've got two copies because I was screwing around. Delete them. That's happy. Now we just have to go find it again. So add new. And search for Jetpack. Now, because Automatic is the company that makes WordPress, it's no shock that they put their products right on the main page here for you to install. These are no doubt paid to be here, by the way. I don't know that for sure, but I would imagine. Um, they're also super popular, so that's just fine. Okay, so I'll click Install Now on Jetpack. And it will take a minute or so to complete, and then I will activate it. Now let's click Activate. Okay, so click Set Up Jetpack. And run through the process. And here we are. So in my case, I'm going to Stay with the free version. And now, unfortunately, I have to go through and set things up again, but it's pretty much as we expected. I'll run through this very quickly. I don't want to enable Bruce, Fort, Bruce Force uh, attack prevention because I'm using WordFence and it's a conflict, but most people will want to use it. I do want to use lazy loading. That just loads your images slowly. Uh, you can use the accelerator, so I'll do that. It uses their network, even though I'm using other people's networks as well. There's nothing in writing I wish to change, nothing in sharing, nothing in discussion, and in traffic. I do want it to generate the XML sitemaps. Okay, so let's go uh, take a look at what, uh, take a look at the site, see if it still works. Look at that, we're up. Okay, so that's um, not tremendously challenging, but it is confusing. So if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you.